In a major milestone for United States Air Power, the second B-21 Raider stealth bomber has taken off to the skies. With this flight, world's first sixth-generation bomber enters a decisive test phase, one that could redefine strategic deterrence and global strike for decades to come. The second B-21 launched from Palmdale, California and landed at Edwards Air Force Base, joining the Combined Test Force. With two aircraft now flying, the United States Air Force is expanding trials, validating sensor fusion, stealth signatures, weapons integration, and data link resilience under conditions designed to mimic peer adversary threats. Now, with the help of video wall, let's try and compare American uh, B-2 bomber with the futuristic B-21 bombers. We'll talk about their general characteristics, their armament and the performance. To start with the general characteristics, we can see this is B-21 and that is B-2 bomber. Uh, both are crewed by two crew members each. Next uh, is uh, the empty weight. Empty weight of B-21 is 70,000 pounds, while that of B-2 is 158,000 pounds. So this is a very major difference as far as weight is concerned of these two aircraft. The futuristic aircraft is much lighter. As far as the power plant is concerned, B-21 is uh, powered by two Pratt and Whitney uh, jet engines uh, and uh, they are without afterburner, uh, which means that they are more fuel efficient. When it is uh, to do with B-2, they are uh, powered by four general electric uh, engines and they are also without the uh, afterburning turbofans. Basically, they also economize on fuel with these four jet engines. B-21 uh, Pratt and Whitney engines each uh, uh, produces up to 120 kilo Newton, while uh, the general electric engine produces 77 kilo Newton of thrust, each of them. So 77 into 4 and 120 into 2. So that is the thrust available with these aircrafts respectively. Now let's talk about the performance of this aircraft. Maximum speed both these aircrafts can achieve is almost similar at sea level. However, B-21 can achieve a 0.8 mark. Uh, while uh, a B-2 can achieve 0.95 mark, a little higher than uh, the B-21. Uh, and as far as the service ceiling is concerned, both are similar. Both can achieve a height of 50,000 feet above the mean sea level. Now let's talk about the armament of these two aircrafts. Firstly, the hard points. B-21 has got one main weapons bay while B-2 has got two weapon bays uh, to carry maximum ordnance payload. B-21 carries 20,000 pounds of uh, ordnance, while uh, B-2 carries 60,000 pounds of ordnance. As far as armament is concerned, both of them have a similar profile. Both can carry a similar profile. That is, both can carry AGM-181 LRSO missiles and Mark 82 JDAM GPS guided bombs and various other JDAM family of munitions can be carried by both these aircrafts including B-83 nuclear bombs. Nuclear bombs also can be carried by both these aircraft which makes it a strategic uh, bomber. The radar represents a generational leap in stealth. Its skin uses advanced composites and radar transparent structures with edge-aligned geometry for multi-band stealth. Unlike B-2, its coatings are easier to maintain in austere bases, boosting readiness and survivability. Fully embedded antennas, sensors and a next-generation defensive avionic suit gives the radar autonomy to identify and jam threats without escorts. Its open systems architecture enables software-defined upgrades, integrating artificial intelligence-driven mission planning and decision aids for reduced crew workload and greater situational awareness. 
The B-21 will carry both nuclear and conventional payloads. From B-61, 12 bombs and the upcoming AGM-181 LRSO missile to future hypersonic weapons. It also operates as a full spectrum network node linking space, air, land, sea and cyber domains in real time commanding autonomous wingmen in strike packages. The radar will eventually replace B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit, consolidating the bomber fleet into a more survivable and sustainable force. Compared to these legacy platforms, B-21 offers better stealth against radar and infrared, greater range without forward basing and easier maintenance and turnaround. At least 100 radars are planned, with Ellsworth AFB as the first operational base. Six prototypes in production with accelerated flight trials over the next 12 to 18 months at Edwards AFB. Testing mission profiles for both Indo-Pacific and European theatres. As USA's adversaries build dense air defence networks, B-21 radar will be America's answer stealthier, smarter and more connected than any other bomber before. It is said to become the backbone of US air power into 2050s, a sixth generation shadow in the skies that redefines deterrence.